Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Woody. Like and subscribe if you are enjoying these videos. I actually made a video yesterday and somehow my Elgato capture card just lost it. It didn't save at all and it was a halfway decent video and I really wanted to post it. So we're going to make it up today. Uh, this is the area that we created in the last in the last video, this harbor right here, really like the way it turned out. The one thing that I forgot to do was build the breakwater. I just didn't have time for it, and I kind of forgot at the same time. I uh, just wanted to show you this newer area that we've got developing over here. We did this in the last video as well, too. I'm letting these houses level up. I'm going to let them level up into modern houses. Typically, I don't like the modern house look or the modern apartment look. But for this area, since it's kind of the new, hip, cool area for all the... Uh, you know, Generation Zers and uh, and millennials to go to the the awesome mall and the nightclubs and the sushi restaurants and uh, all the hipsters want to hang out and their parents gave them a lot of money so they're gonna they're gonna be hanging out here. Uh, but anyway, I really enjoy the uh, the area the way it turned out and I'm very pleased with it. But I did want to do a breakwater. This is something that I actually kind of came up myself. The game doesn't offer an option, so I just custom build them. And uh, the first thing I did was I checked the fishing routes because I didn't want the uh, fishermen and their boats running into the breakwater. And so this should be far enough clear from everything. I think I'm gonna build this on the outside. And the reason why I have this road in the middle of nowhere, uh, eventually I'm gonna take it out, is I'm using this as a guide for my breakwater. I want it to be a, a nice straight edge, or at least as straight as I can get it. I've tried to freehand these before, and they turn out okay, but I think it's better to use a straight edge. So uh, here's how this is going to work. I'm just going to build up some land. I'm gonna do the smallest setting here so we don't get a, a big pile of land. And I'm just gonna rise this out of the sea like the Kraken. And we need it to move a little bit faster than that. And let's check the height here. I think that's kind of where we want it. So we're gonna move over the landscaping tools and we're gonna go with the level terrain and we're just gonna put that marker right on there. And then that's just gonna keep the same level all the way through. And I want this to be about the same size all the way through. I'm actually gonna pause the game because this is gonna make the water go crazy. And uh, it's gonna be like a, a typhoon as the water rolls in and everybody's gonna be screaming because it's gonna look like a tsunami once it comes in. Is that too tall? Um, maybe, but we can always skim it down just a little bit. So we'll just keep following this edge here. It doesn't have to be perfect. And of course, you know, if you're doing one of these and you want to use your own imagination to build it however you want, that's fine too. One thing that I like to do is I like to go on to Google and I like to Google things like harbors just to see how cities like Chicago or maybe uh, Boston do their harbors or maybe a, a European city does their harbors and get some ideas there. Google is a great source for inspiration if you're kind of a creative person like me, but you're like, eh, I just don't know what I want to do for this area. And so I use uh, Google quite a bit. Wow, is that all there is to it? Yeah, that was fast. Not too bad, right? Okay. Um, I'm just going to level this out just a little bit. I want it to be kind of thick, like my belly, in all the right places. And maybe a little bit thinner on the edge there, but not too much thinner. And that's about the same size. So now what we can do is we can just remove this road and voila, one of the few French words that I know. Um, you know, but I do want to build this all the way to the edge here because otherwise it's going to look a little strange. You don't want boats coming in and out of both ends there. That's the whole reason why we have a breakwater. Safety measure. I don't know much about ports and harbors and all of that. I grew up in Nebraska, so as I've mentioned before, and um, so I don't have a lot of sea knowledge, but I have a fascination with the sea. I absolutely love sharks. When I was a kid, I wanted to become an oceanographer, but that was hard to do in Nebraska. The University of Nebraska did not offer that. I ended up going into broadcasting, um, but there's still a part of me, you know, I watch Shark Week. Maybe you do too. I watch Shark Week every year and I always enjoy that. Although it seems like they're running out of like fun facts about sharks to tell. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to grab some rocks over here and 
It used to be when the rocks were first offered on this game that you could overlap any amount of rocks that you wanted and you could pile them up and then of course if as they added more added more rocks to the game that became more and more difficult and I think because of graphics challenges they had to kind of restrict what you could do with the uh, rock formations. I'm just going to use one here but I'm going to I'm going to twist this baby. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Because I don't want everything to look the same. I want it to look very random, like man-made, but like some crane or dump truck just came along and just dumped a big pile of rocks on this landmass over here. So this is a little bit time-consuming, of course, because, you know, you're carefully going through. Um, what I try and do is edge it as close to the other rock and overlap as much as possible. That way it looks like the... There's a larger sequence of rocks. It doesn't look so random. Really don't want the, uh, you know, all of this showing through. You know, I want to try something here. I just had an epiphany, just a little thought. I wonder if I were to put grass over this, I wonder if I could lay the rocks over. Or is that just going to disappear? I have a feeling it's going to disappear with the rocks. I don't think the rocks are going to cover it. But boy, that would be cool if it actually worked. Oh, hey, look at that. New idea bonus. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no. It does disappear. Well, that's sad. Oh well, I tried anyway. It would have been great if you could, if I could have layered the uh, rocks on top of the moss. That would have really added a nice aesthetic feature to all of this, and my mom would have been deeply impressed, and so would have all my friends. And I could have shown it off on the Facebook console page. Are you part of the uh, official City Skylines console page? I'm a moderator on that page, and if you're not, uh, there's a lot of really good people. It's probably one of the guest best, how about the best gaming pages I've ever been a part of. Uh, some, some great players on there, and they, they share some really good ideas on how to make a city look good. And even I, you know, uh, you know, I've been playing this game since the day they released it for console, and, and uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been inspired by a, another player on there. And so if you're not a part of that... It's a good source. If you're kind of new to the game, but you, you play this game on console, um, you can also go to the official City Skylines YouTube page. There's a ton of great tutorials there, including about three from moi. I am not a very technical player, so usually when it comes to uh, things like, you know, this game on console, they uh, leave it to more seasoned players who know a lot more about the technicalities of the game, like Move the Mouse, who is... Uh, a friend of mine online and a uh, very nice guy, but I don't know if anybody knows more about the console version of this game than Move the Mouse, and he is just a, a great source of information, especially if you like to play that mayor mode where you budget your own city. I'm just not designed that way. I might take a crack at it one of these days where I just start from scratch, but I've tried it a couple times, and it just doesn't appeal to me, and I guess I'm not patient enough. I'm, I'm patient enough to sit around and decorate with trees and add that kind of stuff all day, but I just can't, uh, I just can't sit around and wait for money to build up, and I don't like paying off loans. I don't even like doing that in real life. <laughs> Why would I want to do it in a video game? <laughs> that would be like if they made a video game about the DMV <laughs> and you had to go and get your license. Uh, okay, so that's probably about as good as it's going to get. Um, and again, uh, you know, there's only so much you can do with this, but not a bad looking breakwater there. Uh, it looks pretty and it's pleasing to the eye. And I know that this little boat, this little captain right over here, he's not going to run over that. Uh, <laughs> I built this once before. I, and I, you know, I should really save this too. I built this once before and I had it over one of the fishing lanes, over one of the fishing routes. And I was going to rebuild the whole breakwater. And then I came back to it and I'm like, oh, I'll just move the route. <laughs> Sometimes you don't always think that stuff through. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Yeah, and this area is complete. I'm going to let it marinate and do its own thing and just kind of grow. And uh, that's that's going to be it for that area. Um, the other area that I wanted to work on today was the final exit, or I guess I, sh I should say on-ramp, of this... Uh, Diverging Diamond Interchange, which I built uh, a few weeks ago. As of right now, it's working really nice, but eventually, you know, traffic will take over and it'll get really crowded and traffic will be backed up for miles, but that's okay. Um, 
originally I was going to put a, a zoo over here, but there really wasn't enough room for a zoo, and I've already got a, an amusement park, and so I wanted to do something cool. I'm, I'm a little tired of building a commercial area, and really, this is about as much commercial as I want to build, because, and this still is unnatural. This would be a city of, you know, probably four, five, six million people to have something that big, um, so I, I don't want to just keep building skyscrapers for the sake of building skyscrapers. Oh, real quick, if I can take you off on a tangent here, I wanted to show you this. Um, this is a man, well, I should say this is a custom lake. I shouldn't say man-made lake. This is a custom lake that I build. I guess I'm a man, so that qualifies. Um, but I wanted to show you how I did this real quick. This has been holding up for me. I have not had any flooding. Um, it might dribble over a couple times, but uh, it's been really well behaved and I'll take you into the details of this so I dug a super deep trench and I mean really large larger than I've ever built uh, and then I put in six freshwater outlets from the pipes menu the plumbing menu menu the water menu whatever you want to call it and then I put in one pump there and so I started and I put on like four or five of the pumps or the uh, freshwater outlets and I let it fill up and then I just I have it down to two now, and I think because it's so deep and there is an evaporation factor that it is just holding. It's doing it it's on its own, which is great because sometimes these things work out, and I have a tutorial on it on my YouTube page on how to build one of these things, and, and sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just want to keep flooding, so I'm constantly experimenting with that, and uh, since you know we don't have any mods in the game that help us build you know your own lake, uh, this is kind of a handy tool to have, so if you want to try that, you can. The only thing that I'm worried about, and the reason why I put in extra pumps or uh, freshwater outlets is so that in case water demand changes, you know, more people are <laughs> sucking up that water, uh, that the level could go down and that it might need some extra water. So that's just kind of a safety measure. But with two of the freshwater outlets, it is just holding and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it has been awesome. And what a great, another great aesthetic feature that uh, I'm pretty happy about. Oh, I have to do something real quick just because I'm anal and weird. I can't stand it when I have two of the same buildings next to each other, so I'm just going to delete that jobby. And that one's abandoned. Oh, I really like that casino. I wish, I hope another one shows up there. Okay, so let's get to work here. Uh, so this is a very complicated area. Because of the diverging diamond, normally you would run this into a roadway right along here, and then people could have their choice. But I did not do that. You either go one way or the other. So you can only exit through here but you can't there is no way for you to enter this area which creates a problem so uh, to fix that I've built an partially built an on-ramp here but I think I'm gonna wait till I have the area completed before I complete this uh, this entrance into this area so I'm gonna have an entrance for cars driving this way and then they'll go right there and then for these cars I uh, <laughs> I'm experimenting with a few things over here. I was thinking about running a roadway in the middle here and then having it kind of loop around over here and then hook up with this road into the area that could cause some serious uh, backups. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to play around with it just a little bit. But that's not what I wanted to do today. What I want to do is I really like the baseball stadium that came with the uh, campus menu. And uh, I love the, the football stadium and the baseball stadium. Just beautiful. And so I really like to incorporate both of those into my city if I can. They show off so nicely. The track and field stadium is really nice too. The uh, one thing that I don't like about the basketball arena or the aquatic center is, you know, they're nice, but they're not open. So you never get to see a crowd in there. And uh, so my plan is over here... kind of pre-molded all of this because I knew where I wanted it to go and so I want my baseball stadium facing this way and then I always like to add in an extra feature with assets like this just to kind of give them a boost so they look a little bit nicer I like to put maybe a, a park in front of them and I did have a park that I was interested in using and let's see if I can find it if you don't mind me scrolling through here a little bit. Nope, that's too small. Uh, where did that go? Oh, you know. Oh, if that was... Is that even up? 
Yeah, that's just a little too big. What is that, the Statue of Industry? That's a cool-looking statue, but it's just a little too big. I could do this. Yeah, kind of a nice modern art piece here in front of it. I think if you're going to do, uh, you know, a, another asset from the unique buildings menu that you want to do something that somewhat matches with what you're doing, this might be a little too modern, but I'm not completely opposed to it. And then I'm going to bring, I'm going to eliminate that and kind of build this area around it. So let's see what this is going to look like. Got to take off the road guidelines. Road guidelines can be nice, but normally I don't use it. For some reason, it messes up the grid here that you see if you use it too often. So I usually take that one off. Now, is this going to be cooperative or no? And I think if I'm going to run a road along here, I'm going to leave myself a little extra space. Oh, yeah, look at that. i got to leave myself a lot of extra space. Okay, so how's that going to work out? Nope. Eh, of course it's going to be difficult. Why would it be easy? All right, we'll do that. We'll show you game. And again, this could be... This is why I wanted to wait before I built that entrance into this area okay and then what are we gonna do for the rest of this I wanted to put some hotels back here make it a touristy area but I really want that road to just overlap this area just a little bit if I can get that right there we go that's what I'm looking for is that gonna let me do oh come on really that's not even cool um Okay, so if you're going to be that way, then I'm going to be this way. I'm going to extend this out just a little bit. There you go. Now, you don't have a choice, but to do what I tell you to do. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I need to connect this back and make it look natural. Stretch that out as long as we can. Make it look like it belongs here. Um, I don't want it to curve around completely. All right, let's take off all of our snapping options and see if we can make this look. This is how particular I am about certain things. You're probably sitting there going, oh my gosh, he's so bizarre. There, yeah. That looks, that looks how I wanted it. That's how I had it in my brain. Okay. So now we need to change the direction on this. Oh, and you know what tonight is? It's uh, cocktail night, so I'm going to take a quick sip here of my cocktail. Because I'm an adult and I can have an adult beverage. Um, and then I'm going to see if uh, anything else fits into this area. Like that! Ah, whammo. Beautiful. All right. That's pretty. And then we're just going to take some... I know it's not completely even here, but I'm just going to do some park life tile and fill the rest of that in and make it look just real beautiful. People are going to want to come. People are going to be talking about this park. They're going to be like, man, I really want to go see that baseball game because that's just a beautiful place to see a baseball game. I love all the blue tile and the white tile and the modern statue in the middle and two dollar hot dogs look at that that's looking nice and we'll do just a couple over here fill this area in can you hear me clicking away just as fast as i can there we go and uh, let's put in some flower beds make it look make it look real nice I'll do one, a two, and a three, and we'll do the skinnier ones over here. One, a two, and a three. We got a couple reds and a yellow, and a couple reds and a yellow. And then we're just going to finish it off with some, some classy looking trees. Not those bushy trees, we need something classy looking, like... The sugar maple, number one. 
Whatever happened to Sugar Maple Number Two? I don't remember that. And them including that. <laughs> the devs are like, all right, we're gonna start with one Sugar Maple, and we'll see how that works. And if it's good, if it works out, we'll try a Sugar Maple Number Two. So Sugar Maple Number One being used. There we go. What was my design over here? Oh, there we go. Kind of want this to look uniform. And that's going to about wrap that up for this area. We'll have to hook it up to power somehow. Not sure how we're going to do that yet, but we'll get there eventually. It's not ready for people anyway. Stay out. We don't even have the game. We don't even have the, uh, the team in yet. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put in a... I don't know if I want to freehand this or not. I want to put in a nice pathway around the baseball park for as much as I can. I'm going to overlap the existing pathway there just so it's all kind of uniform. And then we'll do this. Hey, you get out of there. You were never meant to be there. Get a little walkway around. Might even be room for a fence in there, which I would really like. I think that would be pretty tight. And what's it going to let me do over here? Do I have any options over here? Ooh, I'm going to have to end it right there. Man, that's that's not exactly what I wanted. I don't like it when pathways just kind of end into nothing. But uh, for now, unless I come up with a better idea. You know, I'm wondering, though, if I can even... Can I even hook this road around? Is it even worth hooking around? Um, you know, for traffic, I probably should. So we're just gonna... We're gonna do this. Oh boy, that's gonna be real difficult, isn't it? Let's see what happens if we throw in some snapping options here. Break out the old snapping options as a last resort. So I can go up to there which I find a little strange. Yeah. Okay. Do I really need this road here? Maybe not. That would allow me to take this pathway all around and maybe make this look kind of... Oh, except we have to go out here with it, don't we? Got the jazz station on going in the background there. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 much better than the idea that I had before. Uh, traffic could back up a little bit in this area, but you know what? With this map, it's given me so many problems. Traffic has been backed up everywhere. Okay, so uh, the final thing that I want to do, uh, I want to hook up this entrance ramp, figure out how that's going to work. Maybe let's... bring that around. When I build entrance ramps off a highway, I like to work with one-way roads because if you work with the highways, they don't snap to the grid. And so that, uh, and they just kind of have a mind of their own. And so then what I will do is, uh, usually I will convert these into, uh, into a highway. So I think what I want to do is hook it up there. So we're just going to wind this around and see if we can make this look. Yeah, that, that slopes down just a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to start that slope just a little bit earlier. I know you're like, what does it matter? <laughs> That's just how I'm built. So let's bring that down one, and then bring that down. Doesn't that look nicer, don't you think? Or do you even care? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I do, though. <laughs> but for your city, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but no, I like that. I like the way that turned out. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to... Uh, upgrade this to a highway if it'll let me no it's not going to and I don't mind leaving it the uh, one-way road 
I'm not opposed to that. Traffic, from what I know, moves slower on regular in-town roads, whereas anything from the highway menu, traffic moves a little bit faster. So things can back up if you if you use you know if you decide to use a regular road. But uh, I think for this area, because there's not going to be a ton in here, uh, you know, just some houses back here that uh, I think this is going to work out all right. It's not the prettiest road in the world, but it, it, it works. It works. So then my second project is, and I'm going to go back to my one-way road here and take off all of my snapping options. When I build my highway system, I always leave a road length in the middle. That way, in case I have to resort to building an exit or an entrance ramp in the middle, if I can't, if it doesn't look right on the outside, I've always got room to play around with that. So that's that's one of my little, that's my, that's my tip of the day. All right. And I still don't know how I want this to look, and I don't even know if it's going to cooperate, but I know that I have to start it in order for it to look somewhat natural. I have to start it way back here. Hi, train. Choo-choo. Delivering goods. We built that, I think, in the last episode. Uh, so we're going to... If I built this, okay, I want to get this as close as possible. Of course, it's going to, it's not going to cooperate. Sometimes if it wants to snap to the wrong road, oh, I could always do that. That's not bad, actually. Uh, I will delete a road. All right, so we need to bring that up a little bit. Grade that up. And then somehow make this look halfway decent and this might be it right here if we can get this to work this could turn out the way I want it to <laughs> it's a little it's a little strange We'd, I'm almost there it just takes a little wow wow kind of turn let's try that again see if maybe we can get it just right no, it doesn't even want to work at all. Is that because I'm not at the right level? We'll see. No, it's at the right... Okay. Okay. You get down to your normal level. And sometimes you got to twist around and really make this stuff... And I think the curve's too big. This might be it right here. Ah! Not quite. That's, the road's just going to look a little strange if we do that think unless I can yeah oh yeah and it's not even oh and I don't even have the right height on it all right so we're just gonna try this again stick around find out if this actually works I bet you're sitting on the edge of your seat going will it work will he make it work okay so we know this is right now Okay, that looks all right. There's no other aspect of my life where I get this detailed or this anal. This is it. Um, no, that's not. It's not great. It's not really the curve that I wanted. We'll try one more time. Maybe if I. Yeah, sometimes you can just play around with this stuff a little too much. I mean, that's that's about as close as I might be able to get in those tight quarters there. So then I wanted to bring this around. That was my goal anyway. I don't know why it's not letting me, allowing me to do that. Is that because, what is it about this road that it does not like? What is it? Why do you hate this road, game? I wonder if I just need to maybe build, start from here and build the curve around. That might be what it needs. And I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to build this out a little bit further. Okay. Inch that in just a little bit. And see if it'll... See if it'll curve around. This has to be perpendicular in order for it to work right. Now let's see. I, I can almost guarantee this is not going to work. 
Yeah. How about now? No? You're just going to be that difficult. <laughs> yeah, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you love going around that? Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to try one more time here and see if I can build this across. Maybe a wider loop. Well, yeah, that's not bad, actually. Okay. Oh, maybe this is what I'm looking for. We may have found a solution here, kids. Daddy might be in a roll. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. See, sometimes you just get a good feeling about stuff, and you know when it's going to be right. And that time, I knew it was going to be right. I'm going to try and bring this down at kind of the same slope as the other side, so it looks a little uniform. Bring that to right about here. You have to leave yourself enough distance so that it can actually connect to that road. And... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh... I'm not real happy about that piece right there, but I'm not going to make you sit through another change here. You've got better things to do, I'm sure. And I can always, I can always kind of even that out a little bit later. So does this go all the way around? Is our pattern all the way around? Yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I have my two exits coming into the area and one way out. It's like Hotel California. You can check in, but you can never leave. Unless you go out this way, then you can leave. And then just have to decide what I want to do in this area. And like I mentioned before, this is going to be kind of wasted space here. So we'll decorate that up a little bit. But I wanted to put some hotels and uh, uh, some restaurants in there. And you know what? I'm going to check and look through my unique buildings menu here and see if there's anything over here that I want to use. Like I've mentioned before, anytime I, I build a new area, I like to just sift through the unique buildings menu and maybe give it that extra bit of pizzazz that the area needs just to keep it from looking boring. Um, you know, I've got some of these that I haven't used, but that's going to overpower what I'm trying to do here. Oh, that's the aviation club. No, we don't want planes flying in and out of there. Anything over here worth putting in? No, this is the... Uh, creator content right in here eh, not much in there that I would really consider using so I, and that's mostly uh, gothic type stuff the old cathedral I'd use that for a European city but this doesn't really fit in with what I'm doing here so that's fine it's just fine honey I'm just gonna go ahead and build out this road area right here go to my snapping tools I use snapping tools a lot as you can tell um, I think, oh, well, I didn't want to use that road anyway. I'll use the one with the bicycle lanes. We're going to bring this here, and then I'm just going to kind of go halfway into the middle of this, because I don't really want to bring a road around here, and I might put a park or something over here. So this is just going to be a small area, and before I get this area started, we're going to uh, throw some districts in here. If you've never really used districts before, they're fantastic. They can really change the look of a city, and they're they're uh, they can be kind of a pain, but they're they're a lot of fun too. Uh, so I need to go to my bubble here, go to the smallest one. So uh, we're just gonna do a just a quick line of hotels, kind of right in this area. See what we get there. And then see how close it'll allow me to come. Yeah, right. Yeah. With the original bubbles, with the district painting tool, you get too close and, and then it just it knocks out the other bubble. And that's something that's never been remedied. Um, and that's fine. Uh, and then, oh, we need to... So we want this to be... What is that? Tourism? I always get those two mixed up, and this is going to be leisure. Yeah, get some restaurants and bars in there. The cool hip place for all the hipsters. Yo, man, we going down to the baseball stadium tonight? Yeah, that's where all the chicks are going to be. Uh, and we'll even put in a few apartments here, too, because who wouldn't want to live next to a ballpark? That would be a lot of fun. Uh, so that I know where I am, we're just going to paint that. Hopefully we get a nice big hotel there, and we'll... Do some smaller stuff over here, and maybe another 
see what happens over there with that. Uh, and then we'll make this mostly commercial as well too. Uh, but I think I'll put in a couple of apartments over here, some high, high density res. We'll go one more on that one. And then we'll see what happens here. That is the one thing that I like about zoning in this game. Uh, you know, going ploppable and when it gives you the ploppable options, you uh, you obviously get more control of where you want things to be, but it is kind of fun seeing, hey, what's going to grow in that area? And so I like a little bit of both. I don't know if I'm going to put any buildings along here. I, I don't think I'm going to. I want to leave this kind of open. I think it's going to help with the uh, overall look of what I'm trying to do here. We're going to put a giant big apartment complex there and some more commercial over here. And then we'll do some more residential over here, not too close to the highway. And then this might leave me some room for a road and a, maybe a little bit of park and I'll connect these two areas with a walkway as well too. That's kind of my, my overall goal. Uh, before we go too much further, I want to connect this to power. And I think the easiest way to do that, hey, look at that. We got some power right over here, just waiting. Just waiting. It's almost daring me to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to break out some earthquake sensors. Lay those down. And then we're just going to check and see if it actually bridged the power gap. And it did. Voila. There's that French word again that I like using so much. Okay. And we're just going to cover that up with trees. I can't stand looking at these things without trees. And... As I've mentioned before, I like using the bamboo trees to cover these up. I think it does a, a good job. And I just like the bamboo trees in general. It adds some extra pop of color, as they like to say on HGTV. Pop of color. And so that it doesn't look like we're trying to cover something up, we'll add in some randoms in there. And we'll throw a few there. I like to cover up the, the highway system. Uh, I like to add in some foliage and some grasses in there. Makes it look nice. When you're driving on the highway, rarely is it ever just plain green. So we use the tools that they give us, and, and we try and do that. And look at that. We got some uh, we got some areas growing up here. Part of me thinks that it would be... Eh, well, we'll just let it grow. We'll let it do its thing. Spread its wings like a butterfly. I still don't know what I want to do back here yet. There's obviously room for something as I could do some like smaller apartments, which I might do maybe some really modern green apartments back here. And then eventually I'm going to fill that area in. Uh, before I close up shop today, I just want to check on these two ongoing projects that I have. I've got a row of apartments here. I'm waiting for these last two to level up into the second level, and then I'm going to preserve those with a historical feature so that we have those row apartments. That's going to look kind of cool. And then I want to check on this group of downtown houses that I've got going on here. This little project I've been chipping away at, and I check it each and every day, and if it doesn't give me the, uh, the house that I want, then I just delete it and Eventually, we'll get all of these to be the same design, look like those old Victorian houses that you might see downtown and put them in a row, and it's probably where the college kids live. At one time, it was meant for the rich people, but then they moved out, and uh, the college kids took over. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what my traffic's at, see if it, it was down to 76, 78% in the last game. Yeah, 78%. Yeah, oh well. Uh, okay, that's a good place to stop. Hey, thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I, I enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you did too. Again, like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your relatives to come on by and just hang out with me for a few minutes. I'm going to post a lot more of these videos now. I've got kind of a new method of doing this, so I can churn out videos a lot faster than I used to be able to. Uh, because of the new setup, because of my house, I can have a microphone right near me and, and uh, just kick these things out whenever I'm playing. So I really, I really like that. And plus it gives a, a longer video. Isn't that pretty? I love that diverging diamond interchange. What a great design. Got one of those and we have two of these and uh, one of those in Colorado Springs.
one or two. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you have yourself a great day and we'll see you very soon.